Hello, 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 and welcome to The Cup TV, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real energy in reality, and we can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm your girl, Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spit the tea, and drink the tea, because you know I love me some tea. Her. I am currently just sipping on a little bit of water here, I guess. Not really too thirsty but you know thirsty enough and as you can tell i'm here all by myself so i can do whatever i want to do and what i want to do right now is show off my beautiful cup mug and yeah it is a panel full of cup mug because it's just me so panel full of cup mug party by myself panel full of cup mug party by myself hey <laughs> that's cool all right and you can get your cup mug and party by yourself if you want to at lanagiscreations.etsy.com. The link will be in the description below and is teetering across the screen right now. And we do ship domestically here in the United States and Canada and Mexico, and we ship internationally, so there are no excuses. Well, I take that back because unless your country is on fire, under fire, or underwater, then there are some excuses. And if those are the cases for where you are right now, my thoughts and my prayers are with you. I hope everything works out. You are, people are safe and be able to make, make it through this. Um, we are here very much wishing and praying for all of you who are going through right now and struggling with natural disasters and war. But once everything settles, everything is back to normal and everything is happy again. Celebrate with a cup mug or any of our other beautiful cup merch, period. But for now, I just want to give you some time to not think about anything heavy, but just think about Big Brother because that's what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about all things Big Brother episode 36 and live feed recaps. We are wrapping this up very, very quickly. This is our last week in this Big Brother house. (laughs) It's wrapping up. We're almost done. And so we are going to talk about all of those things and what's going on. But first, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We appreciate you. We are we cover almost all things competitive reality television shows here on the Cup TV. Um, some things we want to cover, what we can't because we don't have the manpower to do it. But that doesn't mean we're not watching. <laughs> so we're still watching everything because... But who would I be without reality TV? I don't know, because that's pretty much all I watch. So, <laughs> but watch, we, we, we're we definitely covering a lot of things here. We still got this in the Big Brother here. We're covering Survivor, uh, House of Villains start this week that we'll be covering, and um, other things coming down the pipeline that we're going to cover as well. So let's check. So stick around and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and the notification bell so you won't miss a single video when we drop it. Also, we have, we're have we part of a network. We have three other channels for you to follow. If you're a fan of drag or drag race, then we have a channel for you at the Cup Pod. Or if you're a fan of Eurovision Song Contest, the Cup ESC. Or if you're a fan of wrestling, WWE, all the PLEs, w, uh, follow us at the Cup Ringside. And, uh, Follow all of our links, and uh, we'll be so happy to have you. And um, our audio podcast links are also down there as well if you need to listen to us on the go. Our Patreon is down there as well if you want to join and get early access across all four channels and exclusive content across all four channels. So join our Patreon for that. And, uh, yeah, that's what that is. So let's get into what happened on Big Brother, we left off with, uh, after the live eviction, and we were going into the um, next HOH, and 
that was a it was a booth competition, but it was you had to find the code inside a encrypted code. Uh, Ainsley's the government is trying to find out what Ainsley's real motivations are. And so they're trying to go into her code. So they had into her database. And so they had the the following, the three remaining players, Cam, Chelsea, and Robina, had to go and find the code to, so they can stop the government from going into Ainsley's database and figure out what she's really about. And so it was a bunch of codes, and then there was a little tiny phrase, in, a phrase in between all the codes. And so they had to uh, decipher it and see if it was in column A, column B, column C. Um, it was interesting. Everybody got points right away and well, started off Rubina and then Cam and then Rubina <laughs> and then Chelsea and then Chelsea and then Chelsea and then Cam and mm-hmm. making the winner of this HOH Chelsea. And she was very emotional, very happy that she was able to pull this off and um, secure her spot in the final three. Um, And everybody was happy for her. And she was excited about it. I was happy for her. Honestly, I was very happy that she won HOH. Um, She was, you know, she was able to pull it off and I was happy for her. it's, it's 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 quite a feat to secure your own spot in the finale episode. So now she has one more competition standing in her way of making it into those final two shares. So now she, her mindset was, how do I make sure everybody out of the three will want to take me to the final two? Just even in case they happen to win the final HOH. And so she was trying to figure out her best bet and her next move to make sure that everybody who was sitting there will want to take her to the final two and not the other person. And so she talks to Cam. She's, she's, you know, making sure he's okay. And she lets him know that she might put him on the block just to make, you know, because it really doesn't matter. The people nominated doesn't matter. It's all about who wins the veto. And um, so she decides to, Tell Cam that she might put him up. He was like, eh, okay, I don't even really like it. But he understood. And, like, it really doesn't matter. It really is all about the veto. And so she talks to Rubina, and she tells Rubina she doesn't really want to put her on the block because she just got off the block. And it really doesn't matter about who goes up. It's about the veto. And so she's like, but I would rather not do that to you. She was trying to secure a spot with Rubina who is also, who could possibly win if she stays this week um, when the veto. So Chelsea wanted to make sure that if she stayed, she would want to put her, uh, you know, sit next to her instead of sitting next to either MJ or Cam, whichever one of them, if whoever else is out there. And so she was like, I don't want you to go up. I think you had enough time on the block. I let, let, let these other two get up there and, you know, we can go from there. Um, so, you know, Chelsea talked to Rubina. She said she'll talk to MJ. Mackenzie said that she didn't really want to, but she understood. And she was kind of questioning why Rubina would say she wouldn't want to. But Chelsea kind of was just like, just smoothing things over. Like, nah, it's not about anything else. I just don't want to, you know, I think I got all faith that you can win the veto. And we're not worried about her winning the veto. And you know, take your shot and whoever you, you have the soul decision and the blood will be in and, and what well, Chelsea's and the blood will be on their hands, not hers, which is very true. And uh so she was like, um it would be interesting to see what happens. And um so Eventually, we get down to the nominees and the nominations, and she ends up nominating Cam and M- M- MJ, and they were both fine with the being nominated. It was it was okay because, like I said, it's about the veto. Who wins the veto? And MJ, 
both Cam, I mean, both uh, Chelsea and McKenzie both tried to play it both ways to Cam and Rubina. Like, they told Rubina, we want all girls to get to the end. And then they told Cam, we want our three to get to the end. So they kind of both playing off both ends. So both people would want to work with them towards the end. Very smart. Very smart. Can't get mad at that. Um, I thought they did a really good job at keeping both people, you know, in the know, but telling them what they wanted to hear. And um, they did that. Um, So after that, we go right into the veto. And the veto is about days and getting the correct days. They had to, they were all in a separate place. And they had to run to a portal to see a picture. Once they saw the picture, they had to determine what day that picture was on. And then go and hit the button. One button had five. One button had one. So increments of five, increments of one. And so they had to make sure they had the days correctly. And this video, it just started off very strong for Cam. Cam was eating this up, and I did not realize, and I guess I should have. This is the best step on my part. I didn't realize how much Cam was studying, but he was. He was doing a lot of studying and a lot of studying with Chelsea, and um, he had been studying these days, which was very, very smart. He know he knew these days backwards and forwards. It was like, had a couple of slip-ups, but he knew the days, and everybody else was pretty good at doing the days. I think it was but you had to put the days in, and if you were the slowest of each round, you would get a um, an error message. And if you got three error messages, you were out of the game. Um, you were eliminated from the veto, and the last person standing, of course, would win the veto. And so Cam started off pretty strong. He was doing it really well. MJ kind of faltered at the first question, but then she got her rhythm back. Chelsea got – everybody was doing pretty well, but it always came down to little – moments of forgetting one day or forgetting the day and um, not doing it fast enough to change it. And so it ended up eventually coming down to Cam and MJ. And um, that was how the last, we had down to the last question. And that's how the episode ended with it being Cam and MJ both having two error messages. So this next question would win, determine who wins the veto. And so that's how the episode ended. And so we're going to go right into the live feeds because we do know what happened with the uh, veto, who won the veto and who is the final, um, who was the final noms. Um, and so if you don't want Veto spoilers understood. This is being this should be the time that you exit stage left. But before you do, if you would hit the subscribe button on your way out, that would be great. And hit all the links so you, you can follow us and catch and never miss a single video when we drop it. And um all of those things, all the links down there, the audio podcast, the Patreons, the all those things. Be sure to click the links. Follow all of our channels. Thank you. Bye now. Bye-bye. Okay, they're gone now. So now that they're gone, we'll get into our live feed spoilers. So our live feed spoilers hop in, and we'll find out afterwards that the veto winner was MJ and of of course she is definitely going to use the veto to save herself because why wouldn't she and the final noms are going to be Cam and Rubina um MJ is definitely talking very hard and considering taking Cam out at this point and having it all women's finale. Um, Chelsea is kind of not wanting that, but is okay, I guess, with it because I guess she feels that her and MJ could beat Rubina 
in the final three uh, HOH, and they'll take end up taking each other, so they think. Um, but I we don't know. I think Cam has resigned to knowing that he's probably going to go, and I think MJ is probably going to take him out and use her soul vote to take out Cam, which I'm like, sure, makes sense. Um, or does it? I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't know where Cam, how Cam fits in the jury situation, but he was very, very close to winning this veto. Very, very close. And so maybe they don't want to take the chance where he actually wins the final, um, one of the final spots in the final veto. Um, I'm sure uh, Chelsea doesn't mind because she knows Cam will take her and she knows um, MJ will probably take her to the final two. She doesn't know about Rubina. And so I think that's probably why she would rather Rubina goes. But I think it's the opposite for MJ. I think MJ knows Chelsea will take her and Rubina will take her. So it's probably best for her to get rid of Cam. And I think that's where everybody is like, feel like that's where it's going to land with them getting rid of Cam this week. Um, since MJ will have the sole vote to evict. Um, I'm... I'm okay with all of this. I'm I'm okay with any situation. Like I said, I think this Final Four is a good Final Four. It's an interesting Final Four. I think they've all played very, very, very different games and very, very different strategies in this game. And so I'm like, however this works for them and how it plays out, I think will be good either way. It will be good either way, regardless of how it goes. I think it will be good either way. So... I'm excited for how it plays out. Um, I'm excited for this week, um, finally getting to the finale of this week. And um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Um, We have a Thursday episode where we have our last eviction and then before the finale. And then our finale episode is on Sunday. And we will be back on Thursday to Thursday, right after the live eviction to talk um this this final eviction, who's the uh sixth member of our jury. And then we'll be back Sunday right after the live um the finale live here on the channel. And we're going to talk about um the finale and everything and see who who is crowned the winner. Uh, Big Brother 26. So we'll be back on Thursday and then Sunday. Um, Tuesday, done. I didn't take it out, but, you know, Tuesday's done. We'll just be back here on Thursday and Sunday to talk Big Brother. There, fix. (laughs) Thursday and Sunday to talk the last two episodes of Big Brother this season. It has been a really good season. I feel like this season is going to go down as one of the one of the better seasons of the modern era. Um is it going to have a deserving winner? We shall see. I, and I think it does. I think everybody who left is a deserving winner in their own way and in their own rights. And if they make it this far then they deserve it. So that's how I feel about the situation. But I've been rocking with Chelsea since the beginning and I think Chelsea's going to win this game in my opinion. That's who I hope, Um, but we shall see what happens. But that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I appreciate you joining me and sticking around and giving sticking around for this very very brief uh, synopsis of what happened in Big Brother this week. I didn't get too deep in the details of the final and the live feeds because really it wasn't a lot, just a lot of talking and a lot of reminiscing, a lot of you know, last minute trying to figure out what's going to set up their next game. So that's it. But I'm going to get out of here. So subscribe to this channel again, and I appreciate you all for joining. Um, Hit the subscribe button, the follow button, the notification bell, all those things. Um, Follow all of our other channels. All those links are in our description below. Our audio podcast links are down there as well, as well as our Patreon. You can follow us on our socials at The Cup Pod on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can follow me. My Instagram is here and my handle here. Uh-huh. And my Twitter is down here. And if you keep scrolling down, you can get our cup 
merch, not limited to, but including our cup mug and any of our other cup merch. So check all of that out. We appreciate you. And I'm going to get out of here. So um, cheers. Bye. From way, way, way outside the Big Brother house, I am your girl, Lana. <laughs> and enjoy yourself and only yourself. Goodbye, house guests.